everyone, it's Keegan. So before I, is my door closed? I can't tell. So before I start this video, I want to just mention a few things. First off, I'm in a new location and I know this background's not your favorite. It's not my favorite either, honestly. And this pillow, there we go. And my walls look beige, they're not beige, I promise. They're like white. So I recently moved into my new house. I talked about that in my last video. And if I'm spinning, I am sorry. I have, this room is actually a lot, a lot bigger than my old one. So I have enough room to film on this spinning chair and I kind of like to spin in it. So I'm sorry about that. So if you guys want a room tour, I can do that. But my room's not complete at all, honestly. But um, once it is, I can do that. And I also vlogged the whole moving experience. So I will link that down below. Second off, I'm really tired right now because I had homecoming last night and it was so 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 much fun and I had a great time with my friends and we danced and had fun and that was my laptop if you could hear that. And people tell me all the time that I touch my hair in my videos and that they find it really annoying so I put my hair up and I'm sorry that you have to see my annoying elephant ears. <laughs> So once again, I did the setup's not my favorite. It's not my favorite, and neither is the lighting. But we're gonna work with it, and yeah, throughout the course of this, we're just gonna figure it out. Oh, and there will be a get ready for me homecoming edition up soon after two videos, two videos. So this is a haul, and this is a collective haul. It's not all in one. Okay, anyways, it's not all in one, um, like, trip at all. Mm -mm. No. Okay, seriously, can they not? It's kind of makeup and skincare and, like, a little bit of clothes, but mainly makeup and skincare for the fall time and for homecoming and just... I'm in a group message right now, so that's happening. Let's go with Sephora. So I wanted... I shop online there because you get the free samples. So what I did was I went online and I needed to get some skincare stuff and while I was there I also got some other stuff and then some of the stuff is from a trip before. First thing I got was this um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and this is a moisturizer and I heard so much about it. I decided to get it and I got it in like the big tub and it broke me out. Yeah. So the thing I needed was a face wash and this is the one that I love and the shadow on my face is driving me insane. We changed up the background and it's sort of worse, but the lighting was better. So I needed this face wash because that's a lot. It's the Clear Days Head by Philosophy and I love this stuff. I am like a huge believer on salicylic acid for acne and this stuff just to have is amazing and it smells like lemons and it's awesome and if you guys are looking for a face wash to clear up your skin I would recommend this and it's like about that much gone so we got that I got that I have some candy do you guys can you get some candy mm -hmm. that literally sounds like something that a creeper would say in his white little van trying to like kidnap children. I'm not a kidnapper, I swear. Girl Scouts honor. I'm not a Girl Scout, but. Okay, and then I got the Glam Glow Youth and Mud Little Face Mask thingy, the Tingle Exfoliant Treatment, and I've used this so, 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 so much. Um, for homecoming, I really wanted clear skin. That didn't really happen, but I just thought this would clear it up. It doesn't really do anything special. So I got the $19 one, which is the little baby version. So I think that I'd still get it because I feel like it's doing something, even though I don't think it is. But you never know. Maybe like slow and steady wins the race, right? Mm. Whoa, 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 okay. No. I got a concealer. This one is my favorite one and it is by Boing and I have it also but it's almost gone so I was just like why not get it and I literally love the packaging of this box and why I want it to come out. It is my favorite concealer in the whole entire world. It's just amazing and the box has a really cute quote on it. It says if this shoe fits buy another one. So I did buy another one. 
I think I've used this stuff since like summer going into seventh grade and that's pretty cool. Literally, if I could recommend one concealer for like covering up blemishes, this would be it. And I feel like I am too pale. And this keeps falling down. And normal, most of the time in dance, I just am like so over being like hyper. Or I'm so over being like calm. So I decided to be hyper. And I normally pull this to the point where it's right here. It's very gorgeous. Like I said, these were different trips, and in the first one, I got the, there's a piece of hair. That's disgusting. I brought my, um, my friends, um. For how I'm coming, my friends got ready here, and, um, they're gonna get really mad at me for saying this, but they left their hair all over my bathroom. But anyways, I got the Naked Basics Tool Palette, and I am obsessed with this. I mentioned this in a lot of favorite videos, and... I just am addicted. I really like the color Frisk and Stark. Those are my two favorite. I really want to go back to Homecoming because I just really am hyper and want to dance. Homecoming is like grinding on each other, which is gross. And I wasn't about that, but I was just dancing because I'm amazing at it. Okay, so um, one of my favorite parts is getting samples and using your points to get free stuff that's falling out of my arms. First thing I got was a sample and it's the Tar what? Tom Ford Velvet Orchard perfume and I'm going to smell it for the first time. Mmm, no. An Anastasia Brow little powder sample in the color medium brown, which I am obviously not medium brown. I didn't fill my brows today because I was lazy. This Makeup Forever eyeshadow little sample in three colors that the names are numbers, it looks like, which does not sound cute. I ever have my own makeup line, which I doubt will ever happen. They're going to have the cutest names possible. Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation, and I really want to do a first impression on this. So if you guys want to win, like this video. I got the Josie Moran Black Oil Mascara and I really like it. The only thing is it kind of comes off my eyelashes and onto my face. But everything does that so I'm used to it. The, what is this? Jack Black Face Buff Energizing Scrub with Vitamin E and Menthol. It's an exfoliating facial which sounds really fun. Okay, is this like Jack Black have like his own like line or something or is it just the name? The Rose Hydrating Gel Eye Cream by Fresh and the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And last one is the Professional by Bennett. You can literally get so many samples for like, I love samples, they're like my favorite. Cause they're free! I went to Bath and Body Works and got two soaps. I got the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin and the Pumpkin Spice Latte, which is like my favorite thing in the entire world. And if I could like marry a scent per season, it'd be this scent. I don't even drink coffee. I've never had coffee because I like to tell people I like coffee because I feel like if I have it and I don't like it, then I'm not a little kid that hates coffee because her taste buds are not mature enough for coffee. So I said coffee like 20 times, but it's all good all good in the hood. I went to Ulta and I got this little brush set that I can't control from, I forgot what it's called, Real Techniques. And I love these brushes so much. I have recently been in love with the contouring brush and the foundation brush which I use to set my um, under eye concealer. I was like, what is that word? No, I shouldn't have done that. I also got a set which I threw the box away, but it came with the Benefit Their Real Mascara and then a sample of the Their Real Push Up Liner, which I find really hard to put on. I like the steel liner better than this one, and I just dropped the mascara. I also got the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which cracked and um, spilt all over my new carpet. So there's just like crumbs in here that I see. There's that. And the Clean and Clear Vintage Acne Spot Treatment, which is almost gone. CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3 one Foundation because mine was all gone and this stuff is life. And I got a new Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, one that's not cracked. I tried to find a cracked one, but they didn't have any, so I just settled for a non-cracked one. So my homecoming dress was kind of a deeper neckline than my personal preference, so I wanted to kind of hold it up and I got these little fashion tape um, shapes. 
I want to open it, but I didn't really do a good job of like concealing all of the stuff. I just sort of threw them in here. Hmm. My point exactly. So I tried finding these at Target, but I couldn't find them. And my mom's like, go look at Steinmart. They have those. I've seen them there before. And I was like, what is Steinmart? Um, but they have them at Steinmart. So, you know, got those. And um, they did not work at all. My cleavage was showing lack or lack thereof. I am very flat chested and I get told on a regular basis by people. I also went to MAC and I got a concealer. This is the Pro Fong Wear Concealer that I lost the lid to. And I got an NW15 because um, I wanted a really, I wanted, I wanted my face to look very flawless for homecoming so I got this and yes, I like lost track of thought so I just kind of said yes. That's it for this box. And I went to DSW and I got my homecoming shoes. This is what they look like. They have a really teeny heel. Let me tell you, these were impossible to walk in. Mm -mm. Nope. But they are from DSW and they're by the brand Kelly and Katie. Yeah. And I have a size sign. I don't know why I mentioned that, but they are silver and they have little chunks of gems sticking out because my dress had chunks of gems sticking out. So I thought these went really well with it. And I got my homecoming dress at Windsor. Here's what it looks like. It's beaded at the bust. Is that what it's called? Bust? Bust? Yeah. And then it's um, tool into a high flow. I can't do this. But I was really happy to see that no one had this dress. I saw this one dress that I almost got and like 10 people had it so I was very glad that no one had this dress and I really liked it. Even though I tripped on this dress so many times and guys were stepping on it while we were dancing, it just, it is what it is. Last but not least, I went to American Eagle. I needed jeans and they were having a like sale. I got some sweatpants and they are just this maroon color and they sit in at like the calf area and I'm really excited to wear them. I got a shirt, it's a long sleeve like thermal I think that's what they're called. I don't know, we don't really wear long sleeves here so you know, I don't really know my terms. So it's a mint color which is my favorite color. I got a pair of dark wash skinny jeans and then a pair of maroon skinny jeans. Yeah, they're just all over me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about the background. I know it's sort of annoying. I am trying to get used to this new room. It's not it's something that's new to me and yeah, but I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video which will be October favorites, sneak peek, and then the video after that is going to be a year to me homecoming edition. So I hope you guys are gonna like that one because I spent a lot or I'm spending a lot of time editing that one. So I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Did I already say that? I don't care if I said that. Mwah! Bye! And I hope you're happy I didn't touch my hair in this video. Hmm. Okay.